dozen minutes played. Quinn's line out, Scott Baldwin. One of the Ospreys goes long and picks out Chisholm, which opens it up, but Ross and Co were in quickly, but Quinn's angling, easing their way on the angle. But ball has been stolen. That's nice, great work from, I think it's Tom Curry that gets himself on the other side there. I'd like to have another look at that. Well, that ball's loose, and then as Connie Oosthuizen found himself isolated, Quinn's have the penalty. First Premiership points for five months. London points, Marcus Smith points, Quinn's points. Harlequins three, Sale nil. That is superb athleticism and application of the law, and what a brilliant kick down the channel. Which Lang has for Quinns, and he's weaving his way through, trying to chase that kick. And he did well in the end to dislodge the ball, but it still sails. Hammersley, here's Hill, Sam Hill. Made his name, made his reputation. Down in the southwest now, very much in the northwest. This is Dan Dupree. And that's the tenth penalty that Sale have conceded now. Lud Diaga coming in from the side. And Sale have conceded far too many penalties into double figures now. Marcus Smith is making them pay. Once again, Diaga. Smuggled the ball. Yaga taking a free ride. Now he's back to earth. Just the second time in the match that Sale ball in hand can attack in the 22. And Hill to the prayer and it's opening up. And Hammersley. And here goes McGuigan around the outside. And the first try. Post lockdown to Sale Sharks. Well, it's all too easy. Quinns will be asking questions how they were beaten defensively off such slow ball from the line out. Maybe they got their numbers a little bit wrong, but credit to Sale. McGuigan given enough space to go over for his sixth Premiership try of the season. The clerk can help clear it. Ooh, what's Rob Dupree got on his mind? Advantage was over, and it's going to cost Sale. Oh, it's not. Brown was tackled back onto his feet, yard. Immediately onto him, Landajo will sail regret that adventure. It's taken over the line. Dombrand thinks he's scored. The officials are less sure. And an insistent peep on the whistle. I wonder whether he'll go to the Simmon. Yes, he will. Referee did warn him. Next one. It's Simon Hammersley who'll get a 10 minute breather. I'm so surprised at what I'm watching tonight. It's not a penalty advantage. You don't have the liberty to take what players would call a freebie. It was a knock on advantage. And of course, you're running the risk of kicking into a territory where Mike Brown is, is so good. And all that's happened off the back of that is a yellow card and more pressure. Steve Diamond's seen enough. Uh, Rob Dupree replaced by AJ McGinty. And Harlequins once again pressing, driving towards the line. Luke Pearce trying to see what the deal is, and the deal is Quinn's try. And now they have their own try as Rugby gets up and running again, and it's been scored by the hooker, Scott Baldwin. Well, you kind of felt that was inevitable, really. Quinn's had the bit between the teeth. They get this drive set up nicely. It's got momentum behind yeah, it, and they get it over for Baldwin to score. Quinn secure this ball, then the job will be done. <laughs> Premiership season relaunched. Open again for business, and Harlequins, the first winners. Only just, but they are the winners, losing bonus point for sale. We will see better games, I'm sure, between now and the final across the road at the end of October. But we're watching rugby again. We're watching rugby again. Final score at the stoop, Harlequins 16, Sale 10.